What's up, YouTube? My name is Genius, bringing you guys part 28 for my playthrough on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. As always, if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, go on Twitch right now, type in Genius25, check me out there, follow, turn on notifications so you don't miss out on anything going on. So guys, in the last episode, we actually defeated our third Divine Beast, Bon Naboris. Now we are back at the Gerudo Town. We have to go talk to the Chief Riju. Is that her name? Yeah, Chief Riju. And go claim our reward for defeating that Divine Beast and saving the town. So in this episode, I believe we're going to move on. And look at the map, guys, right now. We have only a couple more region le regions left. This is the main region. This is where we're going to fight Gan and where the castle's at. Over here is where we're going to free the last Divine Beast. And then these three other regions are just like little regions that we got to discover. So I think we're going to discover this one and maybe this one in this episode. But let's move on here and go talk to Chief Riju over here for saving the town and the third Divine Beast. So guys, after talking to Lady Riju, she gives us two chests which are priceless items from the Gerudo people. So this first one is a they're both perma weapons like we get this one is the daybreaker which is a permanent shield which is such a cool shield and then this one is the it's a sword i believe it is the scimitar of the sevens look at that it is such a cool weapon like i love all this stuff let's go check it out look at that sword i don't want to equip it i don't really like to use the perma weapons we might is this our only shield we have i don't want to use it I don't want to use it. We're going to have to find another shield. But right now, guys, since we finished up this whole area, we can actually start moving along to this region over here. So we're going to fast travel all the way to the Wasteland Tower and then glide over it and find the next Sheikah Tower. Yo, we are back at the Wasteland Tower right now, overlooking the desert once again. But first order of business, this armor's got to go. It is so weak and does nothing for us. So we're just going to go over here and switch to our good stuff. So do we even see the Sheikah Tower for this? Of course not. Let's check out the map. It's probably all the way over this way. We still don't see it. Oh, wait. Is that it? What is that? What is that? Let's mark it. I think we, we totally missed. It's a blue one. <laughs> That's all the way out there. That is all the way out there. Not even close to where we want to be. So, it's probably somewhere behind this mountain. So, we're just going to start gliding over there. You know, go find the Sheikah Tower. Let's get it. Guys, this journey has been very, very long, but the Sheikah Tower was actually hiding just back in this area right here. We probably should have took a sand seal over here and then just went here, but it was pretty hidden. So uh, we made our journey. It was kind of far, but here we are now right at the Sheikah Tower. We're going to have to glide off here and get to it. But look at this. They made like a little post for us just to chill here. Look at this. Check this. Oh, look, guys, look, what dragon is that? I think it's electric dragon. Wait, is it electric dragon? Yeah, look at his horn. Why is he all the way over here? That's crazy. But he's chilling over here. We can actually get gliding over to the Sheikah Tower. This is actually the tallest Sheikah Tower. Look how tall this thing is. Like, from the ground, you cannot climb it. You have to get up here and glide this way. It's the only way. But look at this thing. It's massive. Oh, my God. I don't even think if you had the full stamina bar, you could get up there. That is just crazy. Well, luckily we came this way, actually, instead of just sand sealing around. Who's playing this music? It's that, it's that bird guy. He, he might be up here. He, he actually has a shrine quest for everybody. But come on, can we make this up here? Let's go jump. <gasps> okay, we're good, we're good. I thought we were dead. Where is he? He has to be up here. There he is! <laughs> we're actually gonna get this Sheikah Slate and distill this part of the, the map into our Sheikah Slate. And then we're gonna talk to him and get the shrine quest. Guys, our map is getting there. Like, we are almost done. Completely done this whole map. I cannot wait to finish this game up. Because we're starting a new Legend of Zelda game on Friday. So you guys better be here. It's going to be a great game. It's a 2D one. But this is actually like the smallest part, I think, region in the whole game. This is just such a tiny region. We can finish this up in a little bit. Do a couple shrines. And then bang, on to the next one. Like, it's just that simple. This one is. But look at this. Look at the map. We have four regions left. And two of them are main regions. Like I showed you guys in the beginning. But now we come over here and talk to this boy. What's his name again? It's Koss. That's what it is. And he's going, going to give us a shrine quest that we're going to have to complete. So after we talk to Koss, he actually sings us a song. Gives us this shrine quest. And in order to complete the shrine quest, we have to go into our... Where is it? It is our adventure log. Go into the shrine quest and read this and solve the puzzle. So the, pu the puzzle says, As light shines from the northwest skies, from the tower shadow, an arrow flies. Pierce heaven's light to reveal the prize. So we have to figure out that puzzle to unlock the shrine. In order to solve this quest, we actually have to see this shadow right here. It says, from the northwest, the shadow from the tower. So there's the shadow from the tower. And right over there is the northwest. 
So if we head over to that platform right there, we can stand on that and wait for the shadow to come over top of us. And once it's over top of us, it says we have to pierce heaven's light. So shoot at the sun. So once that shadow is over top of us while we're on this platform, we can shoot at the sun and actually reveal the shrine. So this is actually like a cool little side quest. It took me a bit to figure out the first time. You kind of have to like read everything. So there's the sun. But now we're just waiting for our boy, the shadow. Where's the shadow? It is right there. So if you're actually looking at it from the top, it actually moves like a clock hand. It's just slowly going. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to look at. So if we give this a little bit longer, we'll be able to see the shadow. Where's it at now? It's right there. It's coming over now. Oh, in the meantime, actually, let me show you guys our Bosa's Fury real quick. You charge us up. Anybody in the vicinity just get cheated. But look at that. But there was no enemy, so it th I thought it maybe it would do with the wolves, but it didn't. But any enemy, say there's 10 enemies in there, any enemy in that radius just gets yeeted on lightning strike, boom, they're done. <laughs> it's so sick. It's especially good against like Lionels and Henoxes and all that. But as you can see, this has now lit up because the shadow is right here. So once this lights up, we can actually point the bow to the sky, just aim it right at the sun. You can see like the sun kind of twirling, and you can just yeet, shoot that, and boom! There we go. That's how you complete this shrine quest. I actually still want to show you guys our Bosa's Fury against enemies and all that. But we'll show you guys that in a bit in this episode. But there we go. The shrine was now reveal itself coming out from the ground. But yeah, this quest, I think it's such a cool little, uh, little puzzle you got to solve. So I like it. Might be a blessing shrine because usually all shrine quests are blessings, blessing shrines. But we'll see. Now we can actually hop in this. This will actually give us a fourth spirit orb to give us another stamina vessel into this shrine it actually is not a blessing shrine it's a modest test of strength so we got a whoop on the guardian what you want where's he at we're just gonna give him the quick weapons real quick it's a modest test of strength so it's not that hard we got a good gear on we got the master sword and the master sword should be glowing let's see is it gonna glow let me see it's not glowing for some reason i don't know why Usually does go. Oh, dude, we dipping out here. We dipping and dodging. Get out of my face. This guy has 1500 health. We're just giving him the eat. Hey, you only did like half a heart there. That's fine. <laughs> Yo, this bastard sword's ripping. What's up? Get out of here. Yo, what you want, dude? He does like no damage to us because our, our armor is so much better now. Look, he's going into a different phase and our sword is running out of energy. What are we going to use now? What are we going to use now? Hmm. Use this Guardian Spear because we're going to get another one. Get out of my face, dude. Watch this. We're going to charge this up. Walk up close. Oh! Oh! Oh, my damage! What do you want? You want a bow? Oh, he's... Let's charge this up. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! He's almost done. Like, one more hit. There we go. Bang! We can finish him off. And... Actually, our spear that we have is better right now. So, we're just going to... We're just going to chill out and use this one for right now. But that was so easy. Like, that guy, like, touched us, like, maybe twice and did only three quarters of a heart. <laughs> that was too funny. But now we can actually make our way inside this door, grab this chest, and grab the last spirit orb. What's in here? What we got? A frost blade, eh? That's not too good. I'm just gonna leave it there. It's only a 22 handed weapon. We're better than that now. We have a 20 spear weapon. But let's grab the spirit orb and get moving on. Now that we have gotten done that shrine quest, I think we should actually get moving on to the last divine beast area. I think we're gonna go there, discover the Sheikah Tower, discover this land, use the Station, and then move move along from there. So for right now, we're just gonna fast travel right over to the Gerudo Tower and then start getting moving along towards the Rido area. The Rido area is where the fourth divine beast is. Now that we're making our way to the Rito village, it is actually that rock right there is like where the main village is. But look at the fourth divine beast. It is a giant bird that just flies through the sky. This is actually, oh, what the heck are these? Look at all these bats coming for me. What you want? We got to pull out our bomb. We got to pull out our bomb. You want yeet? Bang. We missed them all, really. Yeet. Oh, whooped. Look at all of them. We whooped on a ton of them. Yeah, get out of here, boys. Get out of here. Yeah, you better run. <laughs> But like I was saying, that bird up there is just so cool. This is actually one of my favorite, I think it's my favorite Divine Beast region right here. Just look how beautiful it is. It's nice and like peaceful. It's all grassy area and everything. And everybody who lives here is a bird, which is awesome. It's like a bird little village. But there's the Sheikah Tower over there. So we're just going to keep making our way this way. And then making our way across to the Rito village. We have finally made it 
up this mountain. And there's my boy, the bird. And there's over there, Cerrito Village. Look at it. It's so cool. It's just such a cool thing. You got a heart and a rock and everything. But, dude, that guardian looks sick. Well, the divine beast, not guardian. But technically, they are guardians. But now we can just keep climbing our way up here. Just got to walk around all this, like, the goop, the Ganon goop and all that. Make our way to here. But look at all those swords just chilling down there. We can pick them up and all that. Oh, dude, that looks like prime time. Our boss is fury. <laughs> Maybe we'll show it off after this. But we're just going to keep... Oh, no, we're out of stamina. Drop here. Get running. Yeah, see, build some stamina back up. And there we go. Now we can keep climbing up here. Doing our thing. Look at us go. Ruben. But here we are right here. And look at all the goop. Just, it's, there's just an excessive amount right here. And this is called the Tabantha region, which is the Tabantha Tower, too. So we're actually going to have to go over this way, I believe. Climb this rock right here. Can we climb up on this rock, or is it all covered in goop? I hope not. Ah! No! <laughs> can we? I believe we can. We're going to squeeze through here, take some damage here. Get up there, Link. Yeah! Look at that. We're going to squeeze through here, climb all the way up this rock, and then glide on top of the tower. But we got to watch our stamina here. We actually grabbed our fourth spirit orb with that last shrine so we can, when we get to the uh, Rito village, we can actually get ourselves another stamina vessel. But we're going to yeet up here. And look, let's look at all these shrines we see. We see one. We got two right there. There's a fairy fountain right there. We got unlocked. I believe there's another shrine somewhere. Yeah, boom, right there. Is that another one? Bang, right there too. There's just so many shrines located in this area, which is awesome. But we're not going to do them all. We're going to go do the one in the Rito village. We're going to do like the main ones that we need. But we can keep climbing this way. Look at this, guys. Two Sheikah Towers in one episode? Let's get it. Let's get it. Yay, we got Mephus Grace too. <laughs> we got all of our power-ups ready to go. And now we can start finishing up this tower. But as you can tell, once we hit this point right here, it actually gets really cold. So this region is actually like a colder region. So they sell a set that keeps you warm. It's actually like a really good warm set. But now we can distill this part of the map into our Sheikah Slate. Yes, the Tabantha region has been discovered. We are finishing up this playthrough. And look at this region. It's all covered in nice, cool lakes and everything. There's a ravine. This place is just awesome. I love it so much. But now we're freezing our toes off. But now we got to make our way all the way over to that region right here, which it's pretty cool. It's not a bad trip. You got to walk through a bunch of bridges and all that. And then there's a shrine right there for the town. So you can always fast travel to the town. So we're going to head over there, do the shrine and pray. And then probably end off the episode there. So let's get grooving along here. And yes, our master sword has been repowered. But if we see enemies, dude, they're getting whopped by our Bruce's fury. Just letting y'all know that now. Look how cool this town is. This is why it's my favorite one. Look at the bird flying over. Just the way it's designed is awesome. We have to walk over a bunch of pillars with bridges and everything. And oh, oh, the bird's screaming. That's the divine beast yelling right above us. Sound like a hawk. Thing's crazy. Look at it. Look at this bad boy. Thing's enormous. Oh, dude, this that's actually like a cool divine beast fight. I cannot wait to like open them up. Like when we opened up the Vodna Boris, the camel, we had to like ride on sand shield and, and shoot arrows. This one's cool too. So I like this one. But just look at the town. The town is awesome. It's just like a bunch of uh like little tree houses, little nests for the birds. So I like it so much over here. So we're just gonna keep going up this bridge right now. And now that we made it to the town, there's actually should be a praying station right here. It's just called the Rito Village. Got a little frame droppage there for some reason. I don't know why it's dropping like that. But there we go. Now we're back to normal. But there should be a praying station right as you walk in. Yes, I do remember this so much. So we're actually going to do this praying station. Grab ourselves a stamina vessel. And we're going to go do the shrine for this area. Yes, give me a stamina vessel. We haven't got one of these in forever. Because we were trying to get the master sword and all that. So it took us a while. But now that we finally got a stamina vessel, we can stop like losing our stamina. <laughs> But look at it goes up a decent amount. Two more will get a whole nother wheel. That's what we're focusing on right now. But look at this village right here. Look at all these bird people right here. We actually have to get enough rupees to buy the outfit because you guys know the outfits are expensive at certain places. But we're just going to keep heading around on top of this area until we reach the top and the shrine for this area. Where's that? But it's cool because as you could tell, this area is part snow and all that, which is nice. And I'm a fan of the snow and all that. It just looks so cool. This looks awesome, boy. We keep traveling around this little stairway. 
Go across this bridge right here. And we got the shrine. Let's get it done, baby. Let's do this. This shrine is called Windmills. And look how crazy it is. This is basically because this place is made off of wind. But we actually have to solve this puzzle to do what? To blow all the fans, I believe. Let's look at all the fans that are not blowing. So if we actually like make our way over here, you can actually like hit these and then they turn and all that, which is cool. So we're going to figure out this puzzle. So in order to get all these turbines turning, if you actually stood up there, I stood up there for a little bit looking at it. You can actually see the path. We're going to turn this one to do all that. And turn this one over here to hit all that. Same thing with this one. Turn this one. So it gets that one. Then since that, that one's already getting hit by that one, we just got to turn this bad boy right here. Then we're going to turn this one to get those two. And then I think we have maybe like one or two more, but we got to turn this one a couple times. So I think we got to hit it three times. We'll see. Yep, one more time. We'll turn that, make those orange ones blue. Then all we have left are these three. So if we come down here, we actually just have to turn this a couple times. So it's fully spin around, turning all three of those turbines. Then all of them will be lit up and turning to open this gate right here. Did I do it? Yes, I did do it. I was going to say, I thought that's all of them, all of them but, <laughs> but now this door opens up and we can actually finish off this shrine and grab ourselves our first spirit orb of the four that we need. Now that we've finished off this shrine, we're actually going to finish off the episode two. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like the video up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. It actually means a lot. As in the next episode, we're actually going to be buying the Snow Coal set, which is the set for this area and moving on with the main mission for the fourth Divine Beast. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.